Businesses are shutting down, but instead of asking for help, they're getting to work helping others. In today's Acts of Kindness, Sandra Ali shows us how a group of dedicated chefs are back in the kitchen cooking up meals for those in need. That's Chef Maxell Hardy pouring his popular green dressing on salads. His restaurant, Coop Caribbean Fusion, is closed because of the coronavirus, but he's still cooking. The moment that we found out that there was dine-in service was going to be cut, um, we went to work asking questions, how can we help? Hardy and a handful of Detroit area award-winning chefs partnered up to start making meals to feed families living in shelters. We're just trying to do what we can to make sure that we take care of our most vulnerable folks here in Detroit, that being our homeless. Culinary students volunteering to help chefs prepare meals. Together, they're feeding nearly 400 people every day. That's added up to nearly 9,000 meals so far, and they're not stopping anytime soon. It goes to who we are as Detroiters because we know if nobody else will do it and, and look out for us, we look out for ourselves. The chefs turned to local distributors, restaurants, and warehouses. They collected food some businesses were planning to throw away. Uh, if you're malnourished and you're not, um, you know, you're not eating right, you're not going to have a fighting chance, you know, uh, against COVID. They also started to take food donations from across Michigan, like this truckload of frozen turkey. This is food that is absolutely going to the right place at the right time where we need it the most. When people realized Detroiters and shelters needed more help, donations started trickling in slowly. From urban farms, they collected green tomatoes and ears of corn. This is the kind of food is medicine that really works you know, to help people. Everyone working together to make sure Detroiters don't go hungry. COVID doesn't really care what you are. That's how we have to pay attention to how we can help each other. And if you want to help this group of Detroit chefs on this very special mission, they do have very specific needs. We posted all the information you need to know, how to contact them and how to help. It's all on our website. Click on Detroit.com. Back to you. Yeah, that's really great, Sandra. And we are always looking for acts of kindness like this all over town. So if you see one, we want to know about it. Just go to our website, click on Detroit.com slash kindness and send us a message.